our community, takes pride in its illustrious sons and daughters who built an empire to advance the cause of humanity. So it is with the people of Konkosa town who have Dr. Abi Musa Konkoso, a great politician of high repute. Dr. Abi Musa Konkoso was born on the 21st of October 1956 in Konkosa town, Modobi local government area of Kano state, into the family of late Alhaji Musa Sala Konkoso, the traditional ruler in Modobi local government, and holds the title of Majidat Nkanu and Makamang Arai until his death. His formal education began at Konkosa Primary and later gained admission into Gwarzo Senior Primary School. Upon completion of his senior primary school, Rabi Musa Konkoso went to Dilkrabs School and subsequently joined the famous Kano Technical College where he completed his secondary school education. Next was Kaduna Polytechnic where he obtained national and higher national diplomas with upper credits. After graduation, Rabi Konkoso was posted to Ogun State under the National Service Corps scheme to observe the one-year mandatory service to the nation. In the quest to expand his academic horizon, Rabi Musa Konkoso was admitted into the prestigious Middlesex Polytechnic and Loughborough University London for postgraduate studies where he obtained master's degree in water engineering in 1985. Similarly, from 1987 to 1991, Konkoso attended various professional courses outside the country precisely Derby Water Industrial Training and London Industrial Program UK and later successfully completed his PhD program at Sharda University in India. Rabi Konkoso's biography is full of commitments and dedication in promoting the cause of humanity wherever he finds himself. In the early stage, Konkoso joined Kano Civil Service in 1975 as an artisan staff under the renowned Water Resources and Engineering Construction Agency, RECA, where he served for a good 17 years. In the course of his career, he served at various capacities and rose to the rank of principal engineer before retiring to join active politics. Prior to joining politics in 1991, Rabi Konkoso exhibited leadership qualities and ability to manage human and capital resources effectively. Going back to his school days when he was elected deputy head student, Technical College Kano, President Student Union Karuna Polytechnic, President Postgraduate Students Nottingham University UK, and first African to become a member of the University Senate respectively. In the year 1992, Rabi Konkoso joined Social Democratic Party SDP and worked closely with late General Shoh Musa Al Adwa. Later, Konkoso contested and won election as member House of Representatives representing Madovi Federal Constituency, Kano State. This development fell away for his subsequent election as Deputy Speaker of the House in the aborted Third Republic. The termination of democratic rule in 1993 and subsequent move to produce the 1999 constitution, Konkoso was elected as one of the delegates from Kano State to participate in the Constitutional Conference in 1994 to 1995, a conference that produced the 1999 constitution. With the return of democratic rule in 1999, Rabi Konkoso, in collaboration with other patriotic like minds, joined People's Democratic Party a platform on which he contested and got elected as executive governor of Kano State during 1999 general elections. Konkoso's first tenure as governor of Kano State witnessed massive transformation of all sectors. Some of Governor Rabi Musa Konkoso's landmark achievements between 1999 to 2003 include electrification of over 400 villages and communities. Similarly, 34 new roads and bridges were also constructed. Rehabilitation and expansion of water treatment plants was conducted to boost water supply in urban and rural areas. Provision of free antenatal and postnatal care. Over 100 new primary schools were constructed. Provision of free meals and uniforms to pupils which virtually increased annual enrollment of school-age children to 1.5 million. Provision of intensive training on skill acquisition and vocational jobs to over 2,000 youths across the state. Elimination of over 6,000 ghost workers from the state payroll, which is the biggest in the history of the state civil service reform. Increase internally generated revenue from 300 million naira to 1 billion naira monthly. And above all, the first administration that completes a balanced budget in its appropriation. But as fate will have it, 
Konkosu failed to secure his bid to return to power in 2003, not because he did not perform well, rather, the Almighty Allah had other great plans for him. Rabi Konkoso was appointed as Defense Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under the Obasanjo administration. Miraculously, Konkoso, with civilian background, was able to transform the military institution in all aspects of defense mechanisms, locally and internationally. Reform of military pensions and payment of pension arrears, relocation of the prestigious military institution, the Nigerian Defense Academy, NDA, to its permanent site, Increased number of military attaches to boost Nigeria's military relations with foreign countries, procurement of up-to-date military hardware, rehabilitation of barracks, and above all, he introduced the first ever defense policy for the country. Considering the tremendous achievements during his tenure as defense minister, Dr. Abiy Kwankoso was nominated by the then President Olusegun Obasanjo to serve as a special envoy to Darfur and Somalia in 2006. During the regime of late President Umar Musa al Adua, Dr. Abi Musa Konkoso was also appointed by the administration to serve as member representing Northwest in the board of NDDC in 2007. Konkoso resigned his appointment on personal ground. In 2011, Dr. Abi Musa Konkoso responded to the clarion call from the good people of Kano State to contest for governor. <laughs> He made a historic return to Government House following his landslide victory at the 2011 polls. It was an eventful second tenure of four years. The return of Rabbi Musa Kwankos for the second term was not by accident. Rather, the people of Kano were not satisfied with the previous administration, which ran for eight years, but with little impact to address the plight of the people of Kano State. Hence, the call gave birth to this historic return. As expected by the electorates, the Rabi Konkoso second term between 2011 to 2015 was characterized by tremendous and rapid expansion of infrastructural development, human and capital transformation, educational opportunities, healthcare delivery, youth and women empowerment initiatives, rural transformation, and a host of others. You are such a hard worker, a committed person to the welfare of your people, I'm a living witness to the achievements you have made in your first term because I have commissioned numerous of projects which have impacted positively on the lives of the people of the state. To keep his administration away from the intrigues of corruption, Governor Rabi Musa Konkoso adopted the strategy of good governance with proper accountability and transparency. To this end, Konkoso abolished the provision of security votes and introduced Treasury single account with a view to block financial leakages and also track down all revenues that go into government's coffer. Accordingly, this measure enables the administration to execute several projects and programs which improve the socio-economic well-being of Kano people in all facets. Your Excellency, I have watched with keen interest the remarkable achievement of His Excellency Governor Rabiu Musa Konkoto's administration. Certainly, Engineer Rabiu Musa Konkoto, you have made a mark. To begin the transformation agenda of revitalizing the civil service sector, an executive order was issued on the civil servants' monthly remuneration that all civil servants should receive their salaries on the 25th of every month through banks. This was a moral booster which earned their loyalty, support and cooperation. For instance, under infrastructural development, three flyover bridges at Kofa and Nasarawa Ibrahim Tower Road and Murtala Mohammed Way, as well as two underpass bridges at Garankaya and Kabuga, were constructed in order to ease traffic flow within the metropolis. Thank you for giving me this special honor, making me mission this 
The attention he gave to education, which is the bedrock of human and capital development, was not just special but revolutionary. This was in the bid to resuscitate the alien basic primary, secondary and post-secondary education systems. In addition, over 3,000 classrooms and 450 teachers' lodge were constructed across the state. This is to boost the morale of teachers in good service delivery and ensure that every child deserves to be in school. Girl Child Education received priority attention of Kwankoso's administration. Government provides pre buses for conveyance of female secondary school students to their schools across the state. Apart from the State University of Science and Technology in Wudil, Governor Rabiu Kwankose saw the need and therefore established the Northwest University at Kabuga. Also, more than 3,000 students were sponsored to undergo undergraduate and postgraduate studies in 14 countries around the world in the field of engineering, medicine, information technology, aviation, marine engineering, and host of others. To improve the quality and standard of teaching in secondary schools, more than 12,000 teaching staff were recruited into the teaching profession, while 44 technical colleges across the 44 local governments of Kano State were constructed. This is in line with administration's drive to prioritize technical education. 26 institutes for training, skill acquisition, employment generation, and empowerment were established to empower young men and women in different aspects. Moreover, free education from primary to tertiary level was implemented. This is to address the increased number of out-of-school children roaming the street and equally give chance to less privileged ones to acquire formal education. Such as seven microfinance banks were established across the state. Um, these are the type of projects that this country needs. Our program is a collapse of infrastructure, uh, mainly that of power, which affects uh, employment and therefore industries and goods and services can only be appreciated by people like the governor of Kano State who is so committed to serve the people and the country. Security matters were not left out in the administration's move to secure lives and property of the good people of Kano State. Toward this end, 180 brand new Toyota Hilux were purchased and distributed to all security agencies working in the state, not forgetting the local vigilante groups. Moreover, other security equipments and gadgets were procured while applying kinetic and non-kinetic measures to ensure safe and sound Kano states. It gives me great pleasure to be with the good people of Kano on this memorable day to celebrate another very important milestone of Governor Rabius Musa's Konkwasu's concerted effort to making Kano a mega modern city. Healthcare delivery received priority attention through innovations that improved the health conditions of the public, both at rural and urban centers of the state. A standard intensive care unit was constructed and equipped with state-of-the-art facilities at Mohammed Abdullahi Wase and Murtala Mohammed General Hospitals. In addition, the general hospitals in Bichi, Dambata, Gwaruzo, Renu, Gay and Gezawa were renovated and equipped to cater for the ever-growing needs of medical care services of those within these areas. In another development, medical empowerment programs in the name of Lafi Ajari was introduced to boost the medical status of the public in Kano and its environs. The program has trained more than 1,500 youth, male and female, in patent medicine store business with take-off grant of 150,000 naira to each participant. Even out of government, Dr. Abiy Konkoso was able to sponsor 370 graduates to undergo postgraduate studies in nursing and other related areas to enable them to teach in the state health institutions. This is achieved through Konkosia Foundation, which is the brainchild of Dr. Abiy Musa Konkoso. Addressing housing deficit is another priority of the Konkosia administration in Kano State. Three new cities, Konkosia, Amana and Bandrao, made up of about 2,000 units, were constructed in addition to Dalad Nasidi, Ibrahim Kunya, Judo, Zawachiki Estates, which are also constructed by the Concourse Administration. 
In an unprecedented rural transformation program, five kilometer dual carriage with street lights and culverts were constructed and in various stages of completion in each of the 44 local governments in the state. In the last four years, we have all been witnesses to a renewed zeal and commitment by the Composo administration to redefining the infrastructural landscape in the city of Kano and the surrounding satellite cities. Your Excellency, I have closely followed your administration's numerous development uh, initiatives over the past couple of years. Uh, is it in education? Is it in uh, health? Is it in uh, water provision? I have certainly seen quite a lot that has impressed me and I'm sure it has impressed every other Nigerian. Despite all the projects and programs initiated and executed by the Concourse administration, not a single Naira was borrowed from within or outside the country. At the tail end of his second tenure, Rabiu Konkoso and other five PDP governors defected from the ruling party to the opposition APC, not for personal aggrandizement, rather for true principles of democracy. After completing his second term of four years as executive governor of Kano State, Konkoso contested and won election under the platform of All Progressive Congress APC as Senator representing Kano Central Senatorial Zone. Distinguished Senator Rabi Konkoso was appointed Chairman Senate Committee on National Planning and Economic Development while serving as a member to various committees in the Senate such as Water Resources, Defense, Basic Education and ICT among others. Senator Rabiu Konkoso also sponsored and supported many legislative bills, most of which were passed into laws. This time, it's time to unite, not to fight in this country. Mr. President, this is the time for all Nigerians to come together as a family and work for the unity, for the progress and development of our dear nation. A formidable platform of Concourse's like minds was found in the formation of the national movement, TNM, which conforms with the Concourse ideology of one indivisible Nigeria, devoid of regional, ethnic or religious sentiments. Not satisfied with the new direction of APC and PDP, Rabi Konkoso opted for the New Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, and subsequently became the party's presidential candidate for the 2023 presidential election. In order to make a balanced representation between Muslims and Christians, North and South, Rabi Konkoso strategically picked Pastor Isaac Idahosa as his running mate, a God-fearing man who believes in one united, indivisible Nigeria. This is to make Nigerians have a feel of what Kano enjoyed between 1999 and 2003, as well as 2011 to 2015. In an attempt to sell the party's ideology to Nigerians and also unveil his manifesto of turning around the country, Dr. Abi Musa Konkoso embarked on tour around the country together with some party stalwarts to commission state offices of NNPP. The tour provided an opportunity for the presidential candidate to meet stakeholders of NNPP at grassroots level and rob minds and work out modalities that will lead the party to success in the forthcoming 2023 general elections. 
In the course of his political tour to commission the party's offices nationwide, Dr. Rabi Konkoso usually begins with a courtesy visit to the royal fathers as a mark of respect and to seek for royal blessings in fulfilling his mission. The campaign train visited all the six geopolitical zones of the country to establish the presence of NNPP in all nooks and crannies of Nigeria. The presidential ambition of Rabiu Konkoso was born out of the conviction that Nigeria needs a unique leader of impeccable character whose ambition is to serve humanity and promote unity among the diverse people of Nigeria, devoid of regional or religious sentiments. His dream is to reverse the unfriendly economic atmosphere, insecurity, institutional corruption, industrial disharmony, Abject poverty and high cost of living, it is on this background that Dr. Rabi Musa Konkoso's blueprint is all out to address such problems in a strategic approach which gives power and opportunity to all Nigerians in all regions irrespective of ethnic, regional or religious affiliation. Therefore, Dr. Rabi Musa Konkoso's determination to build a new Nigeria of vision status cannot be achieved without the mandate and support of Nigerians. 
Tribe Musa Kwankoso, The Down for New Nigeria. <laughs>